After being in big white previous years, uh, we decided to go back as it was perfection. Long, long aeroplane flight. Hard going, but worth the extra travel. Back to the famous chair that's huge. It's right in the town centre that is. So we ended up flying to Edmonton and then on to Kelowna. Um, KLM caused a lot of trouble in that uh, journey after cancelling the flights uh, um, just as we were driving on the way down. But we made it, we got there. And there was lots of snow. Not as much as when the day after we left, but uh, there was lots of fresh snow overnight. Lots of the runs that are our favourite runs. It was awesome finding all the different uh, uh, places to go and catch all the powder. That was the view from the hotel. Um, not as pretty as Europe, but uh, still very pretty. Snow ghosts were just stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, could have spent all day photographing these things. They were just beautiful and great fun weaving in and out of when you're uh, snowboarding and trying not to hit them. Certainly lucky with the Bluebird days, uh, we got about four or five days very, very quickly. The new boots, yeah, <laughs> had a few to choose from and uh, um, well worth getting our boots changed. The village, right on the doorstep, so you, the second you step outside of a uh, a hotel, you're on a slope. Perfection. No queuing, no, just on the slopes. Just fantastic. More snow ghosts. They're awesome. Town centre that we walked to most evenings, got the gondola down and uh, had a nice evening walk to try and uh, loosen up all the stiff and aching bones. Plenty enough nightlife for us anyway. All the snow ghosts, all different shapes, every one of them, just beautiful. Loads of snow at the base of them uh, normally, so uh, um, you're always guaranteed a, a nice deep bit of snow just uh, just beneath them. So much fun, both of us just loving it, absolutely loving it. The gondolas ran all night as well, well not all night, but uh, through through the evening so you could uh, uh, go down to the bottom of the village and uh, come back up again without having to walk if you wanted. That's us heading up on one of the many uh, chairlifts. Um, the views again were just outstanding and uh, a bit cold on the chairlifts but worth it once you get to the top. As I say, not the prettiest of places. Um, the likes of Europe's prettier but uh, um, I'd say I um, still prefer uh, um, having no queues and uh, less arrogant people and, uh, than that. So Kaz, now you can't get back on the slopes. Absolutely loves being off-piste and uh, uh, finding the powder anywhere. Um, trying to video and uh, uh, keep up with her these days is really difficult because she's, she's got that good that I'm... Uh, um, I struggle to film and uh, snowboard uh, and keep up with her. Um, but lovely to share such an awesome hobby together and uh, be together for the two weeks. Um, it, was, it was just what we needed. We'd had a, a stressful time after mum and uh, um, uh, yeah, it's, it was needed. I took two outfits with me. The, uh, the red one you see, is, uh, it wasn't too cold. Um, so... Uh, I could dress lightly and uh, it made it more manoeuvrable. The, he the helmet, oh man, that thing's awesome. It doesn't look pretty, but uh, um, the fact that the visor just flips up and flips down saves all the hassle with goggles. Um, but when you're going fast, your eyes are watering because it's not um, uh, not windproof. Um, my board, got that quite a few trips ago, but uh, I'm still happy with it. Still, uh, still doing good. Um, Kaz puts turns in where I can't even put turns in these days. Um, 
loves the uh, loves the scenery. <laughs> uh, but uh, trying to film while we're weaving in and out the uh, trees was a challenge. There were a few days that weren't bluebird days, and uh, right at the top of the uh, the mountain, it was uh, or volcano. It was uh, quite difficult to see many times, and um, be it fog or be it uh, um, snow that's falling that hard that uh, you can't see through it. Uh, the trees they they uh, cause the snow to uh, uh, gather in great depth, so uh, um, the trees are quite handy to uh, play in if you want to if you want the powder. Can't believe how much Kaz has come on. She's really embraced the uh, embraced the powder and uh, going off piste. Brilliant. I'm trying to be clever, but uh, easier said than done when you're uh, <laughs> when you're filming. Lovely seeing Kaz smile so much. We were trying to get as far into this powder as possible, but as soon as you tried getting there, you lost all your speed. So then we realised why all that powder was there. Difficult keeping your speed going. Forever on the hunt for new powder. Saw this lovely, lovely little hole to go through. Just as I'm going through, I see somebody the other side of it. No way. And then there's a guy peeing on the right hand side. Oh, for flip's sake. Goodness sake. Got you on camera anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Bollocks. <laughs> Kaz, delighted with her. She managed to sort the fear of uh, um, the uh, toe. Uh, um, tea bars. She'd had a bad accident previous years on them and uh, knackered her knee, so uh, to get her back on it this trip was awesome. So we even managed to share a tea bar quite a few times, so um, going from strength to strength. Um, kind of ended up falling over in the trees and then having a little bit of a problem getting out. Um, as I say, the trees kind of attract the snow, so all the snow sort of falls in between them and uh, it ends up quite deep, as you'll see in a minute. Oh, that's Kaz slipping down, down, down. So she's now waist deep in the snow, so has no choice but to take her, uh, her binding off, the last one on the board, to be able to sort of clamber out. Good job I deleted all the uh, sound off of this as the, the conversation she was having was uh, mildly amusing. I think about now because of me filming and uh, taking the mic, I think she lost her sense of humour marginally. <laughs> Just a few pictures of the collections all together. Each day I tried to make a, um, a set of photographs together to sum up the day or sum up what we've been doing. Love that picture, that's beautiful. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> Just see a few pictures of my other suit, my other outfit. I love that being loud and leery and uh, out there. This is the Matrix shot. This is, uh, yeah. 
me doing the matrix shot. Good job, uh, I never added the bit afterwards, the splat. <laughs> Big grin on my face. Gonna get cows with all that snow. <laughs> Starting to get a bit more happy this trip with the little jumps and uh, enjoying uh, just trying to push the boundaries of what I think I can do. I think I can fly. <laughs> Maybe on trips to come we'll have a little bit more height and a little bit more uh, yeah, amazing looking jumps, but at the moment they're just diddy little things. I think we only had about a maximum of minus 10, so uh, I didn't need the uh, full balloon suit. The week before uh, we arrived they'd had minus 30 something, so... Uh, Good job because I didn't bring all my cold, cold, cold stuff. Trying to get them into the carving where uh, you get lower and lower, but I think I'm pretty much laying on the floor. But uh, the video uh, proves otherwise. Oh, nice little wee. We jump. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was 12 days snowboarding. That's it, the end. <laughs>